what's going on you guys it's I double L and as you know I'm with OTG B tutorials and drumforjum.com and we're back at the Ableton Live step-by-step -step tutorial to get you guys started to make beats if you left off with the last video of drums we're going to keep going with the same drum pattern and actually no we're not we're going to erase this drum pattern and I'm going to show you how to We'll erase all the kicks. I'm going to show you how to use Ableton Live's Ableton Live's quantize features, which is one of the best things. One of the pluses that people like about Ableton Live is the fact of being able to quantize easily. All right. So we're going to use our snare as a metronome, and we're going to press play. We want to find our kick. You to get Ableton Live ready to uh, for recording to arm it for recording. This button right here is the arm for recording. So we're going to switch from this blank MIDI track to this track right here. If you notice, the play button becomes red. If we want to stop it from being red to test our sounds and not record, you click this right here. This is your record override. You take that off, press play, or turn off your override, I'm sorry, this OVR, and it will turn off your override and allow you to hear the song, hear the, what's playing, and test out your drums. See that it's green? Now we can Now, if we want to do that without ever stopping, we could just press the override. All right, now that we have that, turn the override off. Now, if you see, if you want your drums to be extra quantized, which some people do, some people say you shouldn't do it, it's all up to you. I'm going to show you how to get it quantized real easy. You can go here and press go down to 16. Our grid is on a 16. So you can go here and put it on a 16 or you can press control plus 6. You see that right there. So we're going to press control plus 6. It changed to a 16. Now you see we're highlighted. We're not highlighted anymore. You take what you want, you highlight it, press control U and it moved it automatically. So now it's quantized to a 16. Again, that's control U. So we'll stop it. I'll edit, undo the notes. See, quantize, we'll undo it. See, right here, they were off. Right here it was 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 off. We'll select it. Press control you and then move them. Now they're all on board. They're all online. It's that simple. So now you can go back and click and put your hi-hats on. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear the hi-hats because it's just the way the sound of them are. They're not really picking up. But we're going to add them anyway. And then we'll press play, or you can press the space bar. So now we have that. So now, let's say we want to make an alternate drum pattern. If you remember, we have intro first, intro first, bridge, end. So we like that, and so we want that to be our bridge. So we'll move that down to bridge. We'll copy this, paste it there. We'll just paste it multiple times. So now we'll go to our intro and we'll erase the snare. Well, we'll leave that snare. We'll turn off all, cut off all the hi-hats. And now 
will have this for intro. That could be a breakdown. So, if you remember in the earlier video, I told you why we were going to leave this. We're going to turn this back to one bar. So we can press Control 9. Control 9. That's back on one bar. The reason why I leave it at a bar is so somewhere in here I can press play and it'll quantize for the next loop and start this one. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. So we're going to start the intro and when it gets to bar 2 right there, we're going to press this button, the verse, we're going to press this, and we're going to go to this drum pattern. So let's go back. And here we go. Press it now. So now we have a verse part. That's not necessarily going to be your verse, but if we want to make it a verse, we could do that. So say now for the bridge, we want to cut off all the hi-hats and just leave the drum and the snare sounding like this. Alright, and for the end, we just want to leave the hi-hats and the snare. Or matter of fact, we'll just leave the hi-hats and the last snare. Alright, so it, it'll sound like this. Oh, we got a drum kick in there. We'll erase that at the end. Alright. So now we'll start from the beginning. We'll start with our intro. Now to the verse. Well, that loop one more time. And we'll switch to the bridge. Let it loop one more time. And now we'll switch to the end. That could just be a breakdown if you want it. However you want to do, we could go back to the verse. And then to the end. Then to the intro. And then for an end. And there you have it. That's how you set up drums on the fly in Ableton Live.